Sorry, I haven't been having a very good time of late dealing with the other humans. I can't stand the fact that humanity is trying to force me to get a vaccine I don't want. I can't stand people trying to coerce me into doing anything against my will. The very act of coercion is something I very much despise. My only reaction to coercion is to rebel. Even if I agree in principle to something that somebody is trying to force upon me, the very fact that they are trying to force me isn't enough of a reason to go against them. Here's a rather simplistic example, but one I sometimes face when dealing with other people. Occasionally somebody offers me some chips or whatever, but I tell them I don't want any. But they insist that I have some even though I keep telling them I don't want any. It literally drives me insane. They almost get angry at me for not trying their chips. I've never understood that logic. Why are they so eager for me to try their chips? Even if they succeed in making me eat their chips, they've done it against my will and I'm just left with feelings of resentment. I honestly don't see the point in trying to force someone to do something they don't want to do. Is it a power trip? Is it a way to make themselves exude power over others? I don't know, and actually I don't really know how normal people deal with these situations. I guess they just go along and eat a damn chip. Eating chips is one thing, but forcing people to get vaccines or take medicines they don't want is just immoral in my opinion. I know a chip will probably not hurt me, but the same can't be said about a vaccine that is only provisionally approved. Actually, with all these COVID measures, I find myself rebelling at every level. I'm not the only one. Regional Queenslanders are one of the most vaccine-hesitant groups of people in the country. The university that I work for has mandated that all staff check in when entering the campus. I never do it. If somebody asks, I just lie. I have no interest in being forced to do something. I actually feel bad if I go along with any of these draconian measures. The university know my work schedule and know the days that I'm on campus. Why the hell do I have to check in as well? But that said, I also know that most other people don't have these same feelings that I have. They willingly go along with the rest of the humans, lining up, checking in, wearing masks, getting vaccinated, and they just do it without question or complaint. I think that's why I don't fit in very well with the current human race. I question things too much, and people don't like being questioned. Another thing that drives me crazy without fail is this email I receive from the university every year, publicly congratulating and listing all the staff who received a promotion during the year. I'll just quickly read it for you. Dear colleagues, I'm very pleased to announce the outcomes of the 2021 academic promotion round and ask that you join me in congratulating our comrades on their achievements. The academic promotion process is an important aspect of the university's continued commitment to a com employee reward, recognition and development. Congratulations to the following who have been promoted. To lecturer level B, James Smith, Centre for Communist Advancement. Catherine Jones, School of Socialism. Fiona Darwin, Propaganda Services. To senior lecturer level C, Tom Sin, School of Political Messaging. Aaron Healy, School of Civil Conditioning. Kate James, College of the Interior. To Associate Professor Level D, Liz Bracken, School of Doublethink, Christy Brown, School of Social Justice, Peter Browski, School of Democratic Dilution, Stephen Dawn, School of Re-Education, and John Shale, College Internment. If you didn't already realise, their names have been changed to protect their identities. I guess it goes without saying that I've never received a promotion. I am but a simple tutor, and a simple tutor I will forever be. Tutoring doesn't have multiple promotion levels, but it still drives me crazy that they have to publicly rub these promotions in people's faces. I don't see the point of it. It never makes me feel good. I don't even know what they're trying to achieve. It's just another quirk of the human species that I find intolerable. They're like peacocks always going around trying to show off their tail feathers. By the way, on a lighter note, I bought my very first house recently. Well, a unit, an old unit, but it is mine and I bought it outright. We're looking to make it more homely by getting some new carpet and ceiling fans and so on. Of course, because it's a unit, there's still body corporate fees and council rates and all the rest of it, so I only own it insofar that I'm willing to pay all those fees. But I don't have to worry about dealing with landlords anymore with the constant threat of getting kicked out if I don't agree to their rent rises or whatever. Anyway, it was just a short rant today. I'm honestly wanting to make more videos in the upcoming weeks and months as I start to settle down in my new abode. 
I now realise that I'm just not very good at dealing with the other humans in the workplace and elsewhere, so making videos is something that I can do without having to have too much human contact. Perhaps after 100 years, my videos might actually become popular, or maybe they'll be used in anthropology classes to show how messed up the 21st century really was. Until next time, cheers.